Hey y'all. So the other day on Instagram, I was talking about using mayonnaise in different recipes. And some people were just flat out appalled. Let me pull you back in just a minute. Okay, mayonnaise is a mixture of basically just eggs and, and oil. So before you freak out thinking, oh gross, mayonnaise in that? It's not that weird <laughs> and it's not bad. Mayonnaise can go in many, many things and really elevate the recipe. Um, so today we're gonna talk about a chocolate mayonnaise cake. It's not in the icing, it's in the cake itself. And it produces a very flavorful, moist cake that you're gonna love. So I'm gonna make that with you this morning. So for this recipe, you're just gonna need some basic ingredients. And we're gonna start with two cups of flour. And when I, when I get my flour out, I kind of fluff it a bit so it's not packed in. of sugar. Two teaspoons of baking soda. cocoa powder and I assume you know it's unsweetened cocoa powder not sweetened this is a third of a cup so I'll do this in a bit more again going to stir that up just to get the cocoa and the sugar and the flour all together in the baking soda and then we're going to add our wet ingredients right into it which is one cup of lukewarm water and one cup of mayonnaise. All right, so that's it. That's all the ingredients for our cake part. I'm going to mix it up just till combined and then we're going to pour this into a three, um, we're going to pour it into a 9 by 13 pan that's been greased and put it in a 350 degree oven. So go ahead and get your oven preheated. <laughs> I'm a messy baker. I'm messy everything, but I'll clean it up. But you see, if you notice, did you see me put eggs? Did you see me put a fat in this recipe? Nope, I put the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise already had it. And yes, you can make your own mayonnaise for this, or you can buy a favorite brand if you have one. Um, I know there's some good brands out there now. There you go. Let's get it put in a pan and put in the oven. Ah, I almost forgot one of my favorite ingredients and that's vanilla. I love vanilla. And this is a vanilla that is probably the best I've ever had. I do make my own vanilla when I can't get this and I can't get this very often uh, because it came from a friend who lives in Texas. 
and oh my gracious, it's so good. I could just smell it. Makes me want to drink it, but I know it doesn't taste like it smells, but the smell is perfection. So we need a, a teaspoon of this. Good morning. I did not finish the cake last night. I baked the cake off and um, this morning I went ahead and got ready for church and then I'm going to make the icing. And the icing, I can go two ways on this. I could do like a fluffy icing or I could do like a ganache. And I I think I'm going toward a, more toward a ganache. Um, just feeling it. And so... Uh, for the ganache, this is what I'm going to use. You're going to take um, a third cup of milk, a third cup of butter, a cup and a fourth of um, sugar, and then you're going to warm that on the stove. Um, get it really nice and hot, but don't, don't let it scorch. Once we pull that off the stove, then we're going to add in some um, either chopped up chocolate or some chocolate chips, whichever you prefer. I think it's about a cup is what I use. And then that's just going to di basically just melt into that milk and butter mixture. And then once we go from there, it's gonna cool down a little bit more. We'll add some vanilla. And um, then we can pour it straight on the cake if the cake is cool, or we can let it sit for just a little bit and try to whip it up a little bit thicker. Uh, but I'll probably, just for sake of time, we'll go ahead and let it cool slightly and then just pour it on the cake. Um, it's a really luscious, um, delicious uh, frosting. And so that's what the way I'm going to go, rather than like a chocolate butter cream or anything like that. So I'll show you what it looks like after we get it iced. And um, I think you're going to want to try this cake. It's just going to melt into the milk and butter. It's going to be so smooth and glossy. It's going to keep on stirring it until it's all distributed. Don't forget to add your teaspoon of vanilla also. But look at that. I ran um, my immersion blender, so there's that's what those bubbles are. But it is smooth and glorious. So now I'm going to pour this over the cake. 